Most people in life are looking for how do I make a living and how do I get through retirement. As a man in his early 50s, living an adventure in the streets of the world, traveling, going places, meeting people, and surviving identity theft, someone else's fraud on my life, and openly intellectual property theft out the wazoo. On top of incredible cyber hacking to my technologies, which is called federally cyber crime on my life, police brutality where they've caused all kinds of health problems and abuses, and openly an attack on my life from total strangers in the community. I can tell you that life isn't easy for those living in poverty. There are some good people in the community with good hearts, good souls, good minds for the Lord above. They do put out a food pantry, sometimes, to help us who are in challenge. It's not that we're lazy and cannot or will not get a job, at least most of the people that I'm accustomed to speaking with who are in struggle are living above the poverty line and still have a shelter and a home and a refrigerator and a stove and, well, a microwave, most of all. But for those of us living in the streets, the food that is often donated to pantries by loving people is typically food that they no longer want and no longer need, which means it's not always the greatest of quality for someone who lives in the street. People who live in the street must have very simple, straightforward proteins. Those things are usually safest in a time of epidemic and COVID and other type of illnesses when it comes in a can. A can with a pop top is typically safer than anything else, but also there are marvelous packages from Starkist that are really good that have chicken salad and chicken flavored things inside them. It's a little easier for people who live in the streets to process chicken than it is for them to process tunas and salmons, which are also good quality proteins. There's also plenty of string cheese and other small packages of cheese that can be purchased at Aldi's at really good rates that could help a person to get through a day, a week, or some time because cheese is something that doesn't always have to be refrigerated if you're very careful about how you store it when you walk with a small, say, insulated bag that handles food or refrigerator foods that are sort of cold already. In life, we're telling you that there are two types of poverty. There's the poverty that still has a home and the poverty that has none. The poverty that has none has different food needs, generally, and different quality needs, sometimes, than the people who live in a home and have the time and energy to prepare food in a kitchen of some kind. Those who live in the streets need quality proteins of a chicken, a ham, a beef, a pork, some sort of sausages, perhaps, like a jerky that is low salt and low spice. The reason is that when we're trying to look for work, we cannot afford to smell of garlic and other spices that could be offensive to people we're talking to. Because it's not always easy, you know, to find a place to brush one's teeth and keep clean in a time of epidemic or COVID, when a lot of times restrooms that are typically public are not open. And then there are those stupid places that serve food and don't offer a restroom at all that you just want to go, are you fucking kidding me? It is pretty standard that once someone eats, they're going to have to defecate. How dumb are you? That's really stupid though to me. In life, we have moments of time to tell people what someone needs. The best way to help someone in a real challenge of living in the streets is to assess whether or not they're carrying blankets or things that keep them warm in the night year round. Because even in the summer, the nights can be cold and the mildew can be vicious on someone at three to five in the morning. People who drive through the communities often say tisk tisk or try to put these people in a play by lying to them all day, demanding their names, and doing all sorts of things that is none of their business. Your business and your life is your business and your life. But our business and our life is all different. What we need to eat during the day today is usually a can of sweet tea or a can of lemonade or a can of fruit juice with no carbonate. 
You see, carbonate is full of not only gases that cause reflux, but it's also full of a lot of salt. The power drinks that have high caffeine are also not good for us because they cause highs and lows to people who are not accustomed to quality eating. It is kind at times to receive chips and cookies, but those things do not give us energy. Having the opportunity to get real carrots, real fruit, or good quality low syrup fruit in a can that is perfectly safe and healthy is also a marvelous opportunity. Pineapples, mandarin oranges, things that are not offensive to people in small travel cans that open are also wonderful. But when you're trying to help a person who's truly in struggle, the kindest thing you can usually do is walk up and say, gosh, you look like you might be a traveler, someone in struggle. I would like to help you somehow, but I don't know how to do that today. What on your goals today are you trying to accomplish that me and my finances, my resources, or my network could help you possibly move closer toward achieving today? Once you've asked that question, a true person trying to get out of their challenge will say, well, this is really what I'm after right now. The next thing is for you to help them right now. Please don't offer a service to someone that you're going to take two weeks or a month later to get back to them on. That is a waste of trust, a waste of their time, and people live in the nine to five of the day. In a lot of people's cases, they need two power quality plastic dollar store, dollar tree readers, especially if they're over 40. You can also buy a $5 pair at Walmart that's a little bit more secure, but sometimes people monkey with us when we sleep, break them, or take them. That has happened to me. We also need quality technology, and usually that's a $50 minimum telephone apparatus that we can use on Wi-Fi. That allows us to get online, do job hunting, and other things where people are truly advertising and not doing fake advertising on our rights to sit and work on our life. Most of us do our best to purchase where they are kind to us. We have the right to be loyal consumers to the local establishments that we would normally shop at if we were not homeless. You see, what happens to a person's life goes up and down in life. I used to make a high quality living. I used to make a high paid wage during the hourly and in project work, and I lived in a marvelous place that is now overrun with billion dollar homes or million dollar homes. It used to not be that way, but we still had a good living. But in life, people also need food for the day, is where I began. And food for the day is often different than it was yesterday. So sometimes the kindest thing you can say is, is there any food that I could help you purchase today in this Target, in this Walmart, in this Aldi's, in this Circle K, that would help you to move forward in your nutritional needs today? When you sound intelligent, when you sound in care, caring, and when you offer it with no strings attached, it is the most loving and kind thing you can do for someone in struggle and that will best represent you in the house of the Lord. You see, the house of the Lord has many rooms and Jesus definitely was a man. Muhammad were definitely people who helped those in impoverished mindsets as well as impoverished meant of needing food. Jesus has many stories of feeding the masses, not necessarily, but we definitely have one where he split the fishes, multiplied them, increased the water to wine, and served 500 people at a time. We also know that he traveled almost as a homeless person and was welcomed in different places. That is not always safe for everyone today, especially if your homeless person is unlike me and has a lot of vices or codependencies with alcohol, drugs, or gambling or other things, which isn't really marvelous, or just a need to be in power like some of the panhandlers on the street. But a person truly in homeless is trying to work themselves forward to the true society of today is savvy in technology, willing to network, and openly okay with the fact that they might not smell exactly perfect today because of the abuses that they've experienced from stupid little shithead 20-year-olds who don't understand the world today 
or adult white men who think I'm going to be in power like God over you today. Let me tell you, God is not pleased with your life if you're one of those. If you're participating in mobbing and stalking people who have challenges in your community, what I'm going to say to you is turnabout is fair play and revenge is best served cold on you today. Because when you're in the community, most likely you're out there and about there in your year work uniform, in your stripes, or in representation of your business community, your business profession, or your business industry, and it takes one phone call from an intelligent man to rock your world to the floor so that you never play a game on them again. You have to pay attention to what your legal liabilities are when you offer someone food that is unsolicited, unrequested, and probably not needed because it's full of allergens or poor preferences that do not fit with that person's palate or their nutritional or cellular health needs. Your best approach is always asking someone, what can I do for you today to help you? What could my team of friends do today to help you? A true leader turns to his buddies and go, hey, everybody contribute a few dollars. And then our friend here can go on a little further in life today. And then you can carry on in your play because you're the ones who still have credit cards and weren't hacked in your bank accounts or in your finances or in your insurance or in your life insurance policies. Be willing to listen to someone for a few minutes to find out if they're real or not and help the ones that are real because those are the ones that will help you to feel the best about your gift, your generosity, and what God will do to bless your life for taking a few moments of time to help a total stranger like me or others in struggle that are above the Lord's house, not at all, that are still protected by the divine.